what is Cross Timbers? Uh, well, Cross Timbers is a eco region of Oklahoma, and it basically it goes all the way down to uh, Texas. And this eco region, the region where the western plains of Oklahoma meet the eastern woodlands, and so sulfur which is where we're located is kind of right there in the middle of that you can kind of i-35 is sort of that is sort of that corridor um that splits oklahoma essentially well just on i-35 and and just east of i-35 is this cross timbers eco region uh that's where i kind of i got the name of uh, my brand and stuff for this region of oklahoma but yes we love our woods and uh i love my trees but uh you know there's places the, where you need open spaces. And a, a lot of these areas in Oklahoma, as you can see this hay prairie, a lot of this pasture, uh, the reason it's not open on some of it is because trees, invasive trees have taken over. And, and the number one is cedar. You know my opinion on cedar trees, uh, the Eastern red cedar and what it can do. Uh, another one is hackberry and another one is elm. Uh, those can easily take over on your fence lines and things like that that I've probably already talked about. We really wanted to open this up. And so you can get rid of those invasive sort of trees um, and, and clean up your land like it's supposed to be. But if you don't manage your land, you don't graze them, you don't put bison on them. Uh, to manage the land, uh, you get the overgrowth of trees. And that's what's happened, um, not only on my place, but a lot of places um, all over the country and, and in Oklahoma. That happens a lot. Trees like the Eastern Red Cedar will take over your entire property. That's why uh, we've got tools like the tree puller and grapple is because we're gonna spend a lot of time doing this. I still have so much more work to do on this property to open it up for bison because bison belong in the open plains. And uh, you know, these bison roamed through here hundreds of years ago and there may not have been very many trees here at all. But because of human intervention and the lack of grazing and fencing and things like that, you have the overgrowth of trees and invasive trees taking over. So you have those situations. When you want to build a new fence, you got to clear the fence line. And uh, what comes with that is sometimes shrubbery, trees, and all that, that's got to go. The woody plants have to go. And uh, anyways, I, I just love this part of the property. I love how open it is. And we're going to keep working on opening this thing up. Uh, you know, we're going to keep some of the woods. It's great for wildlife. Deer hunting is really very, very popular here, and we love seeing our deer, of course. So we're not taking all the trees down, but we're definitely clearing a, a lot of this out to make room for bison, uh, which is the way it should be with some woods as well. That's why you call it the Cross Timbers region. In case you guys didn't know that, now you know. So now we are going to head to my aunt and uncle just live over here next to me. Their, their yard actually backs up to uh, our property and they they get the view they have the really nice pretty view of the sunsets and stuff so okay i've been cleaning up on this uh, stretch right here and knocking out some hackberries. Oh, can't stand those trees. They have a heck of a root system. The cedar is a lot easier to pull this precision manufacturing tree puller. I, I love it. it. It kills it. I love it. It can't get some of them big ones, but if you can't get the big ones, you get underneath and get uh, the roots you make and push it over. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm heading over to my uncle's. I'm over here on the back side of the property. I'm gonna stop a second. I just got the, um, the grapple hooked up and then I've got the tree puller also picked up with the grapple because I'm gonna take them both to the same location. So I have to run over there, come back and get the tree puller. So I've scooped it up with the grapple and I wanna show you guys something I'm very, very excited about. This looks so different and there was a fence right here. There was a fence right here. But uh, there were some big trees here along this fence line. This place here, you know, after coming back here and looking at this, this is the whole point of it. We really wanted to open this thing up. 